All right. Welcome to Story Behind the Music. My name is Darren Story, and I am here with my man, <laughs> the director of The Sounds of Blackness, Mr. Gary Hines. Good evening, Gary. How are you? Good evening, my brother. I'm blessed with all. When I grow up, I still want to be like you. Oh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm working so on it, boss. Go so good to see you, man. Hey, listen, uh, I am. Um, do this with everyone that comes that comes on the, the uh, podcast uh, just because of COVID-19 and everything. How are you? How are you feeling? Uh, you staying safe uh, and all that? Uh, thank God, man. Feeling great. Uh, still work out every morning. You know, we, we do that kind of thing and always encourage uh, Sounds of Blackness singers and band and our extended family, we don't call them fans, we call them extended family, to do that, you know, because spirit, mind, and body are one. And you know, I tell people all the time, I'm glad you mentioned that, D. Obviously, wear the face mask, wash the hands, the social distancing. But real, the real bottom line is your the strength of your immune system. So exercise mm. and, and a proper intake of zinc and vitamin C really are instrumental instrumental in 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 uh strengthening your immune system so you know if your immune system is weak you can wash and distance all you want you're gonna catch everything that's out there so right. strengthen your immune system something that especially with our people doesn't get emphasized enough and you can strengthen your immune system doesn't you know exercise means walking around the house putting on a record and dance doesn't mean joining the gym at all necessarily <laughs> and uh to up that intake of vitamin c and zinc all right you heard it, and and this is comes you, from one. You of the see, your boy fittest, change, you know. Yeah, he, this is one of the fittest guys I know uh, in in music. I remember first time I saw Gary, I was like, "That dude's a musician. He looks like he's about to break out, break me off something." I mean, you know, his guns, his guns. You should have seen his guns. His guns was like my leg. His guns was like my legs. But uh, absolutely great advice, uh, great advice, uh, Gary. So. Um, Gary, um, you are up there in the Twin Cities, as we all know, and and uh, I'd be remiss if we didn't talk about George Floyd and uh, you being right up there in, in the middle of that and the sounds being based out of there. Uh, first of all, how is the city now? And and you know how, how fond we are of Minneapolis and, and what it means to us, but how how is the city now? Oh, did I lose you, Gary? Gary? I'm going to take you. Gary, you there? Gary, I'm going to take you out of the stream for a second. Gary's going to get some uh, connection thing going. Uh, but we are you are watching live. Story behind the music. This is a live stream. That's what happens when you have a live stream. Sometimes uh, you lose the stream. Let me bring him back. Gary? Gary, you there? Yeah, you got a pretty, looks like you might have a pretty bad connection. Uh, I'll take him out of the stream and see, I'll be paying attention to him. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the Sounds of Blackness new video, their new single called Sick and Tired.
Wow. Sounds of blackness, sick and tired of being sick and tired. And that is sometimes what tragedy makes people create. And that's exactly what the sounds always do. The sounds are always very timely. Um, and uh, if you are just joining us, Gary Hines was our guest. We had some technical issues with Gary and his connection. So we're trying to get him back right now. He's working. He's been texting me right now. But uh, while I try to uh, wait for Gary to get back on, I want you to know that my connection with Gary is because Gary and I were label mates because I was in low key under the uh, umbrella of Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis's label, uh, Perspective Records back in the early 90s. And that's how we got a chance to meet uh, the Sounds of Blackness. And we did our first tour with the Sounds of Blackness, actually. Uh, it was a co black college tour, historical black college and university tour. And um, I tell you what, that was a blast. And watching them go out and work every night, how professional they were, uh, just something to behold. And I was uh, really fortunate and blessed that we were able to be on the road with them. And that'd be our first road experience with such a professional group. And then also the fact that they were so loving and so kind. And they would also let us come out on stage with them at the end of every show and sing optimistic with them. And that was awesome. So, uh, and Gary is back. I'm gonna bring him back in. Let's get him back in here. Gary, you, you, you there? I am my brother. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Good to, good to see you back. Yes, sir. Uh, so, Sorry. No, no, no worries, man. That's, this is technology. This is what you, you right. know, it's like, uh, it's like what's the how uh, the a tale of two cities? Charles Dickens. The first line is it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. So that's the first that's of how time. I'm technology. <laughs> so so anyway, um, I I just wanted to um, yes, sir. Uh, re reiterate the the question that I had was uh, I just finished playing uh, your song, your new single, "Sick and Tired," and um, you know, out of tragedy, oftentimes comes the greatest creations um which is it's really ironic that that happens um tell us about how you all have been uh dealing with the aftermath of what's happened in minneapolis uh after the george floyd instant incident oh you froze again gary <sighs> hello i'll take you out of the stream because i don't that's just then you just froze. <laughs> you know, folks, sometimes things like this happen. Uh, they just do. Um, and that's why technology is awesome and also evil at the same time. We're going to I'm going to hang with Gary for a little while, see if we can get him back into the stream. Uh, he's having some signal issues, connectivity issues, obviously. Uh, so once I see him moving again, yeah, he dropped back out. So. Um, but anyway, like I said, I, I was with this. I was able to be on tour with the Sounds of Blackness for for our first tour, our first road experience ever, and it was just wonderful working with such professional people, and and then we made a lot of friends uh, as well as you as you can see, Gary, uh, almost uh, what that was nineteen ninety when I met Gary. So this is twenty twenty. So thirty years later, um, I can call on him and. And he would come on this program. So I, I am definitely indebted to him. Also learned a lot from him as far as just music and uh, being professional. Uh, he has got one of the biggest hearts that I've, that I've ever, uh, ever known. And so um, we just hope we can get him back on here with some consistency. Here he, there he is. Let me see if I can get him back. That's a tough spot you're in, it seems. Can you hear me? You're frozen again. Gary? Hello. Gary, I'm gonna take you back out of the stream again and if you could get to a place. I, and I don't know, you might be doing that on your phone. So that might be what might be the issue. Don't know. But um, anyway, uh, having to, uh, you know, think on one's feet. Uh, 
Gary Hines actually used to be a bouncer at a club that Prince used to frequent. And I wish I had my friend May Ling on here with me because she could really tell some great stories about all that. Uh, but uh, Gary, not only was a, a musician, but also a bouncer. And like I said, if you've ever seen him, you, you, you'll know exactly why, because uh, he's one of the fittest people that I've ever met uh, in my life. But um, uh, Gary has been around the music, the Minneapolis music scene for a very, very long time. And, and I was really looking forward to share, hearing some of his stories uh, of not only the Minneapolis sound, but also he's a, he has some print stories as well. When, and that's some of the things we've been unearthing on this uh, podcast story behind the music. So uh, hopefully we can get him back in the stream. Uh, he's gone again. And so hopefully he's going to find a better connection. Um, but what we may have to do, uh, we may have to uh, preempt this edition of Story Behind the Music in order to get Gary a better connection and reschedule. I don't know. I'm going to have him try to come back in. A few people are hanging on um, on the live stream, and uh, we appreciate that. You appreciate your patience uh, because, of course, the Internet is awesome, and then also the Internet can be evil, and that's why <laughs> these things are are really, really um, tough to, to – uh, if you don't have a good internet connection, I mean, I'm telling you, um, these things require a certain amount of bandwidth. And if you can hardwire, that's really the way to go. So for the, those people out there that are thinking about starting a podcast and doing the podcast, make sure you can hardwire because uh, Wi-Fi is unreliable at best to do this type of thing. So uh, if you have any questions, anybody out there have any questions for me? Um, I will take your questions right now because I'm. this is what you call stretching it, stalling, you're stalling. You know, this is what you do. You're looking in the wings and you're saying, wow, what do I do? Are they ready? Are they ready? No, I need to keep talking. Yo, okay. All right. So uh, sending a shout out to, to, to Bill. Good to see you, man. Um, if you're still watching. Uh, and I'm going to uh, play another video that I have. Uh, with the sounds and, uh, you know, just so you can find out more about them. Here, he, here it goes. The blackness. Keep the keep on.
there you have it. All you need to know about the sounds of blackness <laughs> in about a two and a half minute video. Uh, one of the more, I think, underappreciated musical acts in the world. And I've been there up close and personal. Um, Bill has a sounds of blackness seem to have. Let me just put that up there. It is a very large group. As a matter of fact, they're kind of they can kind of be really big or they can even condense to be small. Uh, they have they started in 1971 and they have been around that long. They have been around almost 50 years. And uh, Gary is a brainchild behind it. And um, hopefully we can get him back. But uh, it started with the a, a basically a choir that it turned into what you know now as a full on ensemble of singers and musicians uh, to make this thing happen. And they are incredible. OK, he's trying to pop back on. And so people out there in the, in the, in the, that are watching, thank, first of all, thank you. You're watching Story Behind the Music. And we are uh, going to bring Brother Hines back on. Did he get outside? He's outside. So maybe he's got a better signal. Gary, you there? You there? I hear you. I hear you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, we, we don't give up easy. So no, we decided don't. to come outside and then uh, see if we got a better signal. Okay, well, well, we'll tell you what we we will get it. Um, we will give it a try and see how far this will take us. Um, uh, what where what part of town do you live in now? Okay, Gary? you got me, brother. I got you. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Hello. Hello. Test one, two. I hear you. I, I heard you there. And I, I see motion. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yep. Well, you know what? We gave it the whole old college try. I'm going to keeping me there if i see him starting starting to move around again i will bring him back into the stream uh so um angie cullen what is the climate like in kc since george floyd it has been very much the same as it been all over the all over the country uh to be honest with you um um angie uh it's lots of protests there we've had our own issues with police so uh, I'm going to try to bring Gary back into the stream one more time. Gary Hines. Gary Hines. Yeah. Might not be our day, Gary. <laughs> Might not be our day. Hello. Yeah, Gary. All right. Gary. Gary. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, well, we tried. Um, <laughs> so to finish answering the question of, of from Angie, um, the, the, the climate has been very tense and we have some issues with our, our police department and we've had some bad shootings and we've had some violence and especially with, especially with peaceful protesters. And so that has been an issue. And I don't think that any other large or medium sized city is probably dealing with the same thing. And um, I think over the last couple of months, I have um, um, been thrust into some activism 
uh, because of being on the radio and I had to ask difficult questions. I actually hosted a town hall earlier today uh, on police reform and had various voices around this table, around the table talking about what police reform might look like. And I, I think one of the things that people have to remember as they are trying to wrap their arms around all of this is that there's a lot of, when we, you hear the word systemic racism, uh, systemic constructs that are in our world and in our nation, and, and all that is true. But I would just ask people to just simply look at history. And once you get, a, get your arms around history, you can probably begin to delve into the system and why it's set up the way that it is. And I think if you also simplify what it is that we are actually talking about, is that we are simply just saying we want America to work for us the same way it works for you. That's it. Uh, we can use lots of fancy ways of saying it, but we just want America to work the same way it works for our white brothers and sisters. So um, with that being said, um, I am going to um, go ahead and sign off for tonight. We will get Gary Hines rescheduled. We will get him a good connection and because I know you will enjoy Gary Hines. Plus, I want to talk about his, uh, again, his, his new song uh, that I will play the video one more time before I end the broadcast. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay tuned for my next one as we continue to get the story behind the music.
blackness. Keep the keep on. Well, Gary Hines is resilient. Let's we're trying this one more time. You you okay? We are. Uh, what well, are you back to the charm, brother? Do, are we cooking with grease yet? We we so far you but you're still um, you're frozen now. There now there you are, there you are. So let's hold on uh, and. Uh, Okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay. You hear me? G. Okay, you're breaking up some. Yeah, I'm 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 back. You hear me? I hear you. Yeah, I'm hearing your voice and then I see your mouth move. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we might we might have to re right. we might have to reschedule this, bro. Um, uh, because maybe get you in front of a computer. Yeah, you froze up again, Gary. We trying. Go downtown to a different Wi-Fi spot. Yeah. Still choppy. Well, hey Gary, if you can hear me, if you can hear me, um, just uh, uh, let us let us find an, another time when you are in like in front of a computer, um, so we can get that stable connection, because um, I think that's what we're going to need in order to, for this to work. And doggone it, I hate this. You know, I was really looking forward to talking to you, and I know you were going to be awesome, like you always are. So. Um, uh, let's do it. Let's reschedule. We'll have to stop the show. Um, and we'll do it again. And I'm going to go out and finish playing optimistic because I'm optimistic that we will, we will, we will get through this. Thank you everybody for watching for, or for, you know, and I apologize for the, uh, technical issues. Of course, it, it pains me, but that's part of this deal, you know, so have a good night. Let's take you out with optimistic by the sounds of black.